Yeah. But for some reason, I think people kind of mix in the old fashioned things with the new fashion things. And it's kind of like, uh, it's not very uh, progressive within their mindset because it's kind of like uh, counterproductive, either, either kind of productive or stagnant in their thinking. Uh, because women might say a whole bunch of things or society might say a whole bunch of things and kind of like get women to come up with this, this mentality mm -hmm. in terms of them uh you know getting a guy for them being a high earner and being a high value man and things of that nature and then coming to the picture not knowing that they don't have themselves established because i don't know why but uh since that time where men would work and provide for everything it was a time where women were severely disadvantaged in life exactly, right exactly yeah so it's kind of like as women come up it's kind of like you have the the dis the disadvantaged mindset which you should kind of be out of that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, hey, man, there's some guys out there, there's some men from certain culture, cultures that will, you know... Prefer you, that, a disadvantage. Give you, yeah, will give you the world. Yeah. And there's some other guy, like myself, where it's like, I might go, I, I would prefer to go 50-50 with you. I prefer you to have a car. I prefer you to have a job. Mm -hmm. uh, just because I don't, I live, I live with my mama. And if you live with your parents, I'm, not, I'm okay with that. Exactly, yeah. It would that well as well. But I, there, there's certain things that if we're going to go out there, if we're going to be together, there's certain things I, I would like for you to have. A job and a car would be nice. Just because mm -hmm. if you live on the opposite end of the city, I don't see myself seeing you as often as you would like. Exactly. You know, if, I, if you live in Scarborough, I live in Brampton. I'm seeing you maybe every two weeks, if that. Oh, my God. That's so – if you're dating them? Yeah, come on, man. I'm oh Scarborough. God, you serious twice, with no car? At least twice a week. I'm in, I'm Brampton to Scarborough. You know how far that is? I was doing Vaughn to Scarborough like four years ago. One Vaughn to Scarborough is not that bad from Brampton to Scarborough. You do know this, right? Thirty-five minutes. An hour. Okay, but still, twice a week. No, nah, I'm oh my God. You really don't need to spend time with people. Huh? I like to spend like every living second with my significant other. No, nah, it's just, it's just, it's just the fact that the matter is that I look at it like this. Not even, it's not even no disrespect or anything. If you live for like, if I could, all right, I live in the West, right? <laughs> don't ever do that again. It's wrapped in. <laughs> <laughs> I live, I live in Brampton. I live in the west side of Brampton where all the black people stay at, right? And I live in the, the west side of Brampton. I'm closer to Georgetown, yeah. Milton, them places, right? Our part of Brampton. Yeah. yeah. Caledon type of thing. Oakville. That part, yeah. No, yeah. no. Orca was a little further away. Oh, okay. Put some respect on my shit. Sorry. I, I don't really know where you live. I don't go that way. That yeah. way. So I live on that part of Brampton, right? So if I were to leave Brampton... The prime spots that I would go to in terms of just accessibility and, and, and comfortability in terms of where I go, downtown Toronto, okay, easy. that's easy accessible, it's, although the parking is ter terrible and I probably wouldn't prefer to go down there, but downtown Toronto, right? We got Mississauga, all right? Talking if you were dating somebody, this is your Yeah, but for preferred dating locations for my significant Ladies other. Ladies, take notes on sending yeah. friends if you live in these places. <laughs> downtown Toronto that's it um uh mississauga milton oakville georgetown caledon bolton bolton Wolf. kind of oh yeah bolton's on bolton is mean? like the end of brampton but and there it's it's it between it's between brampton and Vaughn. yeah it's that sweet spot i'll go bolton see the, and that's the thing with like places like brampton and mississauga you have to be careful too because like Mississauga has a beginning and a very far end. Like, and if you're dating, for somebody like me who lives in Vaughn, like there was a point where I was like talking to somebody, this was like when I was like 18, so like eight, seven, eight years ago. So like didn't have my own car or whatever, like had to take my dad's car like far into like Mississauga from Vaughn. And then like, you know, like then there's been times where like the person lives very close, like like the 20 minute drive to Mississauga versus yeah. the like 40 minute drive, you know? Yeah. So like yeah, with yeah. places like Brampton, Mississauga, I find it's difficult in that sense to make sure it's like somebody like not that deep in, even from Vaughn to Brampton itself. Like to, like this weekend I went to get my winter tires put on. You can't like, the thing is from Vaughn, you can't take, it's harder to take the highway to Brampton. Like you actually just have to take Rutherford all the way up. 
which yeah. is fucking annoying because there's all these lights. Yeah. So yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's yeah, living the GTA and dating is a is a it's risky. Tough, it's it's risky. It's tough, man. Especially <laughs> if you if you drive and they don't drive. So like, let me reel it back in. So the fact that I said that women were at a severe, a severe disadvantage, they couldn't work. Uh, they probably didn't have any accessibility to cars. So guys would have to go out their way to court them mm-hmm. and showcase that they are able to provide and, and provide security and safety for that woman. So if I'm able to drive and work and able to, you know, afford all the bills with inside her home, obviously then my, you know, I'm showcasing myself, but mm-hmm. you know, that shit just, that don't make no sense right now. Cause it's like yeah. now, since it's like a, it's a even landscape, so I'm not, I don't, I, I could, I could put my foot down and go like, Hey, I deem you as my, as my, a suitable mate mm-hmm. and do my thing. But am I going to, if you live over there, man, <laughs> live over there. Like, yeah. what do you expect? I, I, I like you, but you live over there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You live over there. I like you, but you live over there. It's just, it's, it's, it's that what it is. And it's not. You gotta think about it. You live over there. <laughs> like <laughs> you live over there. What you want me to do, man? Like yeah. yeah, the minute you get get your not to say get your shit together, but like yeah. Yeah, just yeah, don't yeah. It's, it's tough, it. man. You know me, there's one girl I did it. I just couldn't do it, man. I just it's like she the one girl lived in Scarborough, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, well, if Scarborough's an hour away, I get it. But, like, I would still at least see the person twice a week. That's, like, my my minimum is twice a week. Scarborough is an accessible hour, and that's why I hate it. It's what? It's it's an accessible hour. Accessible hour? Yeah, because it's right, it's inside the hub of the GTA. Oh, it's an, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not leaving the GTA. I feel like leaving the GTA hour is a different feeling than staying in the GTA an hour. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I, I'd rather meet someone in like going to Newmarket versus Scarborough for you is very different. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I wouldn't, that's even what Northeast, I wouldn't do that. But I would say going an hour on the 401 towards like Kitchener or Cambridge seems more of a, far. I, I, it's far, but it's something I would do because I'm leaving the GTA and I'm in somewhere else. So it's like, oh, okay, it's a different trip. That. Yeah, I'd rather that. Like, I'm just staying. I'm staying in the GTA. I'm seeing the TTC. I might bump into someone I know, and it's kind of like, what the fuck? I wouldn't rather that. I would rather the the hour within the city. Yeah, man, I wouldn't do that. Too much for me, man. I'm from the I mean, west, man. I'd rather go west than east. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I'm. I only have a ten minute drive, so I'm good. But <laughs> yeah. Anyways, on to the next topic. All the girls I like are far. Uh, so, <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> uh, so, so Ti, uh, we spoke about this last week. Uh, I and I also said I was like, why do you bring this up? But Ti uh, sp- was speaking with Ebro, and he kind of doubled down on what he was saying about his lyrics. He said that it w- he said it harmlessly. He wasn't trying to victimize Drake in any type of way, and that uh, he was pissed at, at the moment that it happened. He was pissed off at his friend. That mm-hmm. did do it because it was the most wildest shit he's ever seen in his life. Mm-hmm. But he said that if anyone's going to take in some type of mal- uh, malice intent, which was not very intended for, that's their emotions uh, taking uh, advantage of them. Which he kind of like played it off as like, hey, if you mad at that, you should check yourself, buddy. Yeah, like something. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, which yeah. is, that's kind of like, a, that's kind of a slick response. But like, yeah, I, what do you feel about it? I feel, me personally, I feel like he should never send nothing. I that doesn't like, say like, never, but like it's just, why? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it just rhymed with the song. I didn't listen to the song, but like, uh, or maybe it was paying homage to his friend because he's dead. I don't know, but like, there's nothing else that was more significant in your life rather than him peeing on Drake. I don't know. Maybe like I don't know. It's ten years ago. Like I said, I would just laugh at it now. Like I, if I was Drake, I would think it's funny now. You know? Yeah, we try and play with my name. You don't know the boy, Big Drake Goat. Neither do you. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying Drake, he's out here. Yeah, but like... Bod breed, bod boy. And you're talking about letting, letting the next man piss on him? Come on, man. Did you um see his merch drop? The Gaza. Huh? Did you see his merch drop today? His certified lover boy merch? He confirmed the album's coming in January, by the way. Oh, so it actually did drop. I seen a tweet. Someone said it sold out in like seconds. Yeah, I actually got it. But okay, mm-hmm. but it was not to my... 
so this is the thing i was talking to my boyfriend and he was like yo drop the merch i'm like oh my god let's get something matching like you know just to be like losers <laughs> so he's like he's the, like all right let's thoughts, the thoughts and opinions of, of the educator and reckless of nina do not reflect this overall show we don't do that <laughs> what's wrong with matching with your boyfriend i thought it was cool i was like you have a little photo shoot you know so <laughs> i'm like I'm like, what are you going to get? He's like, I want the sweater. I'm like, okay. And then I look at the sweater. I'm like, I don't really like the sweater. I'm like, I'm not buying. I'm not spending 75 US dollars on this ugly ass sweater. I did not like it. I don't like the the CLB writing, the, the font. I, I really don't like it. So anyways, so he went to get the sweater. And then I'm like, okay, I'll just buy, like, only thing I really liked there was like the socks with the little hearts on them. I'm like, I'll get that. It comes in a three pack for 18 US dollars. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I'll buy that. And then it wasn't working on my phone. So I got my boyfriend to do it on his and like to pay for it on his whatever. And then he sends me the, the fucking invoice, whatever, of how much it costed. And this idiot did not tell me that it was 70 US dollars for shipping alone. More than my fucking socks. My socks are $18, bro. And the shipping was 70. I'm like, why did you buy all of it? You should have told me. I would have took my socks out. I do not want to pay for that fucking shipping. It's like, just get it. Just get it. Just keep it. Whatever. He would not cancel the order. I'm like, just cancel it. He's like, no, I'm not canceling it. I'm like, you're actually so rude. Like, you said I, so now. Dollars for that's like a hundred dollars. You American, a Canadian. I'm, so total for everything was two fifteen Canadian. So his shit was one hundred fifty. Mine was seventy bucks. I paid seventy dollars for three pairs of socks. Yeah, and now he's calling me cheap for it. I'm sorry, but I'm not paying seventy dollars for socks. Yeah, just hope it doesn't come through DHL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking duties yeah. on top of that. I'm gonna yeah. make him pay those fucking duties, yeah. but. Yeah, so I just wanted to see if you got it, but that's my, like, rant on the merch. I don't know why the fuck Drake is charging so much for shipping, especially considering it's within Toronto. Like, I feel like he should be making the shit out here anyways. Mm. So $70, $70 for shipping is kind of wild, though. U.S. So it was yeah. 90, I think it was 90, 90 or 99 Canadian. 100 bucks shipping. That is, that's a wild shipping cost, though. I, I was, if I seen that, but... And it's not even express. It's not even express. So yeah, that's it, trust me. If I, saw it, if I saw it, I would have took my socks out. But unfortunately, I didn't have the luxury of being able to see it, and the order was placed. And just yeah, just get it. Seventy dollars for socks doesn't matter. It's more than my fucking nails, bro. Like that's wild though. I'm not cheap for that. No, no, I wouldn't pay. I don't pay. Uh, I don't pay excessive shipping on anything. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, also one thing I wanted to mention, T.I. versus Young Jeezy is happening on my birthday. That's a season two premiere versus, and that is probably the only battle I will watch. I'm very excited for it. Mm. I'm like, like, I want to feel like I'm back in like grade eight, you know? Yeah. When is Scorpio season? Is it right now? Yeah, it already started. Shall when? I talk to Scorpios? When? On the 23rd? Uh, yeah, 23rd. Day before Drake's birthday, 23rd. And then it goes until... I believe the 22nd. You want to go to the 23rd? Oh, I don't know. Is that how it goes? Month by month? 23rd by 23rd? I don't know. Or 22nd? Uh, maybe it might be 23rd, 22nd. I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to, to mention all that since we're talking about both of them. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what well, fuck it. T.I. T.I. Shout out to T.I.